hello guys welcome back to my channel today i am sharing with you my current as of november 2023 hair care routine obviously these things work for me but everyone's hair is different so just keep that in mind my hair type is pretty straight like if it's humid out it can get a little bit of a wave also if it's humid out it can get really really frizzy my hair gets oily quickly although my scalp has been super dry lately the individual strands are thin but i have a lot of hair my hair mainly is low porosity however at the ends it is medium porosity sometimes high depending on the damage the issues that i will be addressing in this video preventing damage another issue that i will be addressing is just reducing shedding i am pregnant i'm in my third trimester i'm due in like a month i want to try to walk into postpartum hair loss with as much hair as possible so that it doesn't impact me as much as it would otherwise and then finally the last issue that i want to address is my insanely dry scalp all of my skin has been dry lately but of course this is a hair care routine video so we're just going to be talking about my scalp and it is due to the winter months i have been experiencing an insane amount of flaking and itching i hope you guys can't see any flakes as i'm sitting here filming this before we jump into the hair care routine let's just quickly discuss the peak life radiant skin duo i know we're talking about hair today and this is called the radiant skin duo but just bear with me because this combination does wonders for your hair in addition to your skin first up we have the bt fountain which is like a hydrating elixir for your hair Inside the sachet, you will find clinically proven ceramides that work wonders for damaged, brittle strands. They are like the architects of your hair. They help your hair to maintain its structure and strength. And like all supplements, it's recommended that you speak with a doctor before taking the BT Fountain if you are pregnant. The other product that we have is the Sun Goddess Matcha. This matcha is packed with chlorophyll and antioxidants. The antioxidants help to increase blood flow to your scalp, which helps to promote healthier hair. And making these is so easy, so I'm just gonna walk you guys through that right now. So you just tear one of the sachets open, you pour it into your water and you mix. You can use hot or cold water. These products actually undergo quadruple toxin screening just to ensure that you are getting the cleanest, purest ingredients in your products. They also taste delicious, which is very important. I just wanna share this with you guys. If you click the link in the description of this video, you will get 15% off of your order and you will also get a free drink frother to help like mix the BT Fountain and the Sun Goddess Matcha. You will also get a free cup to help make your drinks. Thank you again to Peak Life for sponsoring this video and let's move on to more of my hair care routine. First, let's discuss my pre-wash treatments. Um, so this incorporates oiling, using a serum on the ends as well as a repair treatment, Olaplex. But first let's talk about oiling. Right now I'm using castor oil, miel hair oil, which has like rosemary and mint. Um, ingredients in it. I'm also using Fable and Maine's Holy Roots hair oil and occasionally I will drop in like one or two tiny drops of rosemary essential oil. Just like on any random wash day once a week I oil my roots and scalp and I do this to help lift up excess, build up on my scalp, as you guys saw, I have been dealing with major flakes from having a super dry scalp, so I will just oil it to help remove all of that. You might be thinking, well, doesn't shampooing your hair basically do that anyway? And you're right, it does. But the thing is, healthy hair starts with a healthy scalp. Having a healthy scalp means that you are not overwashing it, you are not drying it out, but you are keeping it clean so to help keep my scalp as clean as possible without drying it out i like to oil it before washing it another thing is when i oil my hair before washing it i am able to go longer in between washes which once again plays 
a really important role in to having healthy hair. I then don't have to wash my hair as often, um, which washing your hair excessively more than you need to is damaging for your hair because when your hair is wet, it is more prone to breakage. Um, it's more prone, it's just put in a very fragile state. So you just wanna wash your hair as little as possible, but you still wanna do it to an extent where your hair is getting clean. Um, and then obviously being able to go longer in between washes is helpful for my roots and scalp because then my scalp is not getting drier than it needs to be from the use of shampoos. I know a lot of people oil their hair for the benefits of the oils. I use the oils that I use for those benefits, which can help to promote hair growth and just maintain a healthy scalp. But the main, main, main reason that I oil my hair is to help promote a healthier scalp by keeping it clean and hydrated. I oil my hair by dropping the oils onto a plate massaging them into my fingers from the plate and then massaging my scalp and i'll just go back gather more oil continue to massage my scalp until the oils are gone side note i am very out of breath so i apologize if i sound like i'm running like a marathon in this video something that i've been doing to my hair before washing it that is a part of the pre-wash treatments um, and this is actually something I've been doing like almost before every wash just because it's so easy is applying the Garnier Fructis Argan Oil of Morocco Serum throughout the lengths of my hair. Basically, I started doing it because when I would apply this on my hair before washing it, when I would get out of the shower and I would blow dry my hair, my hair would feel so smooth and i've been doing this for like 15 years now there have been years that i've like haven't done it but i'll like pick back up again and so i'm currently doing this again and i i just love it once i learned more about hair care i realized why it makes my hair feel so smooth that is because it has silicones in it silicones create this like coating around your hair which a lot of people when they hear that they're like scared oh my god like a silicone coating around your hair doesn't that damage your hair but actually it does the complete opposite for my hair at least so when you're washing your hair you are exposing it to water and if you have high porosity medium porosity hair like i do at the ends that water makes its way into the pores the porous cracks in your hair, fills your hair shaft, makes the cuticles on your hair lift, which then makes your hair more prone to damage. However, if I apply this product to my hair before I wash it, it basically creates a coating around the ends so that less of the water is able to get into my hair and therefore it helps to prevent damage on my hair. It makes my hair less fragile as I am washing it, which traditionally is something that makes your hair extremely fragile. And then for the repair treatment that I have been doing lately, I have been using Olaplex. Basically what I do is first, I use a clarifying shampoo on my hair from the roots to the ends. And then I go in and use Olaplex number zero throughout my hair. I leave that in for about 10 minutes. I rinse that out and then I wring out my hair again and I apply Olaplex number three all throughout my hair. I leave that in for 10 minutes rinse that out and then go back in with my shampoo and conditioner and that is something that i try to do once every two weeks so i wash my hair once every three days normally i use a sulfate free shampoo but i do a clarifying wash once every three to four washes in which case I would not use a sulfate free shampoo. I would instead use a clarifying shampoo, which has sulfates. I also just want to say that just because I have expressed like adoration for a product in the past and you're not seeing me use it in this video, that doesn't mean that I don't still love it. It just means that there are literally so many amazing hair products out there that I love. If I were to literally use every single product that I have raved about, that I truly love in my hair care routine, I would literally have to wash my hair probably once 
a day. Um, I'd have to style my hair once a day just to be able to use all of those hair care products, which that's not possible. And I've actually found that switching up the products that I use on my hair, it actually helps to benefit my hair. I feel like if I use a product too much for too long, my hair will get used to it. And so it's just good for me to switch up products. Before I actually wash my hair, I should, probably should have mentioned this earlier, before I oil it, before I wash it, I always brush my hair out with a bamboo hairbrush. I use this to spread out the oils from my roots throughout the lengths of my hair. So then when I go to wash my hair, obviously I'm still gonna have a lot of oils on the roots, but they're not as concentrated on the roots as they would be if I had not used the bamboo bamboo hairbrush. The sulfate-free shampoo that I have been using recently is the Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo. Now you are probably just as surprised about this as I am. I made a video a year or two ago talking about the shampoos that do not work for my hair and I actually mentioned Olaplex number no. four. So you're probably surprised um, that I'm using it for that reason because this is a shampoo that I previously talked about not working for my hair. But actually I realized that I am the one um, with the problem in this case, I'm just thinking about that. Is it a Taylor Swift song where she's like, hi, it's me, I'm the problem, it's me. That was really cringy. But basically, I am the problem in the relationship with Olaplex number no. four bond maintenance shampoo, and that is because I was using it wrong. I was being very extra with the way that I would use that shampoo. I thought that I needed to use like a ton of shampoo like I use with my other shampoos. So I had like a ton of shampoo in my hand. I lathered it, but not enough. And then I applied it all over my hair like I do with every other shampoo. And then I rinsed it out. And then my hair was super oily. And I was like, oh, this shampoo doesn't work for me. But actually I realized this is actually one of the best shampoos that I've ever used. And I only realized that once I started to use it correctly. So first of all, I stopped using the Neutrogena Clarify and Shine Shampoo and the Aveeno Fresh Green Blends Shampoo because my scalp started to get really, really dry, not from those products, but from the weather um, and just like the climate in my current home, which is very dry. Once I tried out the Olaplex number no. four shampoo, I realized that this would be a good shampoo for me to switch to. It doesn't dry out my scalp, but at the same time, it keeps it oil free and I'm actually able to go much longer in between washes when I use this shampoo um, compared to when I use any other shampoo. So I only need a tiny, tiny drop of this shampoo. I lather it between my hands thoroughly, adding a little bit of water as I lather it. And I try to get my hair as wet as possible before applying this shampoo. I massage the shampoo all throughout my roots, everywhere. And I like massage the whole thing thoroughly for a good two minutes. I rinse it out and then I go in with the shampoo. Again, the same way, thoroughly shampooing my roots and scalp and then I rinse it out. I actually washed my hair with that shampoo yesterday. I'm just amazed and it just goes to show like a lot of times with the products, it's not the product that is the problem, it is you that is the problem in the way that you're using the product. And then the conditioner that I use, I'm still using the conditioner that I had been using previously, and that is the Pureology Hydration Conditioner. I like to twist my hair as I'm applying the conditioner to the ends of my hair, um, and I leave it in for about three minutes, and then I just rinse it out. If this is a clarifying wash, I will use the Redken Hair Cleansing Cream. I went like a very brief period using the Prell, like I think it's called Original Clean Shampoo as a clarifying shampoo. And I know you guys are probably like, what in the world, why are you using that on your hair? Um, but I actually found that when my hair is like super, super oily, that shampoo works so well to give my hair a clarifying, deep clean so don't judge a shampoo by the price don't judge a shampoo by like whatever like the packaging that shampoo works so well on my hair um so once we get back to the really humid months here in massachusetts i'll probably switch back to that shampoo um but for now i'm going to be using the redken hair cleansing cream because this is a clarifying shampoo that clarifies my hair removes buildup removes all of the things 
on my hair that a shampoo without sulfates cannot remove, but it does it in a way that does not dry out my scalp. So I was starting to notice that although the Prell shampoo works really well for me, um, as my scalp was getting drier and drier from the dry air, the Prell shampoo was not doing my scalp any favors. So it was actually making it worse. So I completely stopped using that shampoo. And then whenever I am using a clarifying shampoo, I also like to use a hair mask just because the clarifying shampoo can be drying on my hair a little bit, particularly on the lengths. Um, and I did not mention this, but I like to use my clarifying shampoo, not only on the roots, but also on the ends gently because i use a lot of products with silicones on my hair mainly i use these silicone products on the ends of my hair and just the lengths so that's where all of the silicone buildup is so that's why i use the clarifying shampoo also on the ends so anyway that can be a little bit drying to my hair because of that i like to go in with a hair mask um, previously I was using the arvazalia hydrating argan oil hair mask but recently i just decided to switch to the, I think this is how you pronounce it, Eliza Vecca protein treatment hair mask, I believe it's called. It's from Amazon. It's really affordable, just like the Arvazalia hair mask, and I love it. It's a really good hair mask, affordable, affordable hair mask um, that you can get off Amazon. And I just use the hair mask exactly how I use conditioner, which is just wringing out my hair after shampooing gently and then applying the hair mask throughout the lengths of my hair, waiting three to five minutes for this hair mask and then rinsing it out. Once I'm done washing my hair and everything is rinsed out, I wring out my hair gently to remove the excess water and then I put my hair up in a hair drying towel. So I always blow dry my hair after washing it. The reason I do this is because blow drying my hair at least and actually a lot of people's hair, it's actually less damaging than air drying. As I mentioned earlier in the video, when your hair is wet, it's in a more fragile state. So leaving it wet for a long period of time to air dry is just putting your hair in a very fragile state for a really long period of time, which is making it more prone to damage. That is not to say that like blow drying isn't damaging. Of course, blow drying can be damaging. However, I feel like it is the lesser of the two evils. There was like one study done that found that blow drying your hair when the blow dryer is about, I think like 12 inches away from your hair, which I know is kind of far. Um, that is actually less damaging than air drying just due to the fact that air drying is so damaging for your hair which you typically wouldn't think it is but it is i blow dry my hair once my hair is 70 percent air dried there's so many amazing heat protectants out there that i've gone through but the one that i've been using recently is the redken one united multi-benefit treatment this is a lightweight leave-in spray it has multiple benefits um one of which is heat protection it also just makes my hair really smooth and shiny and silky and detangled and everything like that so it just helps to promote healthy looking damage free hair i just apply that to the lengths of my hair so for actual like heat styling like blow drying i will use either the dyson supersonic with a round brush um the dyson air straight or the dyson air wrap um, specifically the curling barrels. Um, I always like to apply a serum to my hair after I have blow dried. So lately I've been alternating between Olplex number no. seven bonding oil. I actually use that one today. And then I also will sometimes use the Moroccan oil treatment and those just help to add shine basically they just do what a lot of the products do that I have talked about they keep my hair detangled they smooth out my hair they protect it against damage and then there's just a few things that I want to discuss that are general hair tips that I follow in my hair care routine to promote healthy hair long hair hair growth the first thing that I want to discuss is my detangling technique to reduce damage from brushing I have a specific way that i brush my hair which i'm going to share with you guys now i start by taking a small section of hair and i start brushing it at the very bottom 
of my hair and then I just make my way up. This basically helps to prevent the knots from accumulating throughout my hair and creating one big knot, which is just going to contribute to even more damage. That happens when you start brushing your hair from the top because as you're brushing it, you're not really brushing the knots out, you're just like dragging them down. Then when you get to the ends of your hair, there's just one big knot. Brushing through that knot is really going to damage your hair. So starting at the bottom, making my way up in small sections, that helps to keep everything detangled. Also, as I've mentioned in this video, just making sure that I'm using silicones because silicones really help to detangle your hair and make your hair just more manageable which makes it less likely that it's going to get knotted which makes it less likely that you're going to experience mechanical damage from brushing on your hair another thing that i do in my hair care routine to prevent damage and to just preserve my hair and protect it as much as possible is i put my hair up in a protective hairstyle if i'm not filming for TikTok or Instagram or YouTube, whatever, my hair is up in two French braids or like a loose bun in the day. Like I literally leave my hair up all day, not in any sort of like tight hairstyle, but just something that is going to keep my hair up and preserved and protected throughout the day. Those protective hairstyles just really help to do exactly what they are supposed to do which is protect my hair and the reason why I'm using putting protective in quotes is because I think for some people the thought of a bun I don't know it doesn't really seem like a protective hairstyle it works for me I never put my hair up in like a super 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 tight bun that's like damaging to the ends as a matter of fact I like to do loose buns with the ends like sticking out a little bit so that way the ends are not being exposed to the hair tie they're not gonna get like jumbled up in the hair tie or anything the last thing that I want to address for my hair care routine is trimming I will either go to the salon and get it professionally trimmed which I try to do that like once every three to four months or I will trim it myself at home which I do the at-home trims as needed, not on a regular basis like I do the professional trims. Essentially, I am trying to go split end free all the time. If I notice any split ends, they immediately get cut. And I've just noticed that this helps to prevent further split ends because then my hair is not getting damaged as easily. My hair is not getting tangled as easily because the ends are smooth, they're not rough, they're not prone to tangles. And thank you again to Peak Life for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in the description to get 15% off of your order in addition to a drink frother and a cup to mix your drinks in. All the products that I mentioned in this video will be linked below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys next time.